I'm on YouTube, and I'm just about ready to bait up and uh, start those bait off between the Secret 7 and Sudden Impact. I'm at that new spot on the Jordan River on the 4800 South Bridge in Murray, Utah. And I'm just going to get baited up and get out there and see what I can do. I was here yesterday with my father in law, um, and we didn't get any bites all day, so I'm kind of worried about this. So we'll just see what we can do. All right, thanks. And there it is. There's the two baits. Okay, I'm going to get baited up and get out in the water. All right, thanks. All right, I'm in the water starting at 7.15 in the morning. The blue rod has the Seeker 7. The Hog Seeker has some impact. Okay, intermission. Yeah, as I was telling you, uh, me and my father-in-law were here at this exact same spot yesterday. We were both using the sudden impact, and we didn't get any bite. Oh, well, we got a bite each, and that was it, but we didn't get any fish. So I'm kind of worried about doing this bait off here. Um, so this is what I'm going to do. If I end up not catching any fish... Um, what I'll do is I will make a part two of this at, a, at the Lehigh Bridge, at a real, at where I know it's good fishing on the Jordan. But uh, here I wanted to try. It's close to my home, and I caught two nice cats here on Thursday of, of last week, and it is the 26th. It's Monday, the 26th. Um, so I I had just if you look around. I mean, this is definitely Catfish City, man. And why we didn't catch any fish yesterday is beyond me. But the conditions look good. So if there is any catfish in this area, there is going to be no reason why they're not going to pound this bait. The bait is good. The bait works. I know that. I'm living proof of that. So, uh... I just wanted to throw that out there. If, if worst case scenario, I don't catch anything, there will be a part two of this bait off. All right, intermission. Okay, uh, no fish so far. Thirty minutes has come by, and I re re redid the bait, put fresh bait on there. Seven forty-five a.m. No fish so far, so uh, stay tuned. Hello YouTube, Robert here. Hey, uh, we're gonna switch and go to Willow Pond. Um, I just remembered that it got stopped with Channel Cats earlier this month. And then uh, two times it got stopped. Boing da boing da boing. Uh, two, uh, spot uh two times it got stocked earlier this uh uh last month so it's been stocked pretty good i totally forgot about that place and fishing was really slow over at the jordan so i really want this bait off to work so i'm gonna go where uh the chances of catching one are a lot better um so it's only gonna take a few minutes to get to this new spot like I said, if I don't catch any fish in this this one, let's just consider this part one. And if I start catching fish, then we'll have the finals. But, um, yeah, if I don't catch any fish in this video, be sure to look out for part two. All right, short intermission while I drive to the pond. See you guys there. Down here is the Winchester Bridge on the Jordan River. Right there where you see, that's where I very first fished the Jordan River. And I cannot believe that spot is available, but I am dedicated to go to the pond. Uh, a few other Jordan River videos, me and my father-in-law were fishing right there. Um, the place is so snaggy right there, so I haven't fished it. And then you got a great view of a golf course right here. This is, I believe it's called Murray Ridge Golf Course really nice looking golf course and uh, so basically you just go 
I mean, you're surrounded with great spots to fish. I mean, you got the Jordan right there. It can back you up. The Jordan over there. And then just right over this bridge, over the freeway, there's a baseball diamond, a park for kids to play, and most important, there is a community fishing pond filled with rainbow trout, largemouth bass, bluegill, channel catfish, and bullhead catfish. I don't know if you can see the pond. You can see where those gazebos are. That's where the pond is. The pond doesn't look like it's that busy. Why would it be? It's a work day. And I have, I'm on vacation. I'm on vacation for today and tomorrow. So, what better way to spend than fishing? It's the Murray City Jordan River Parkway Willow Park. Hence, Willow Pond down this way. Alright, I'm going to get baited up and I'll see you guys down there. Well, this is making me very nervous. Here I am at Willow Pond, everybody. Walking to my fishing spot. Got a dead channel catfish right there, a dead channel catfish right there, a dead channel catfish right there. And then a dead channel catfish right there. And then right there. Wow. One, two, three, three, one, two, three, four, five. Five dead channel cats. Could it be something in the water? Could it be fishermen being irresponsible and uh, not being responsible with their fish? Or is these uh, some planters that just didn't uh, cope with the planting process? I'm going to go with the fish and cope with the planting process. I'm, I'm going to go with that. Catfish are pretty tough. so. Anyways, I'm going to get baited up. I'm going to just go over here to this island over here and then bait up and get out in the water. Alright, thanks. I'm going to walk over here. <laughs> There's another one. I'm just going to keep the camera rolling for a little bit. I see a lot of bass in there, little baby bass. There's two more right there. What the heck? Of course, what's any fishing waters without some trash in it? Yeah, my guess is, is that they didn't survive the, the landing uh, or the planting. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'll be checked for my fishing license here. They, they, they patrol these community ponds big time. They make a lot of money off of these community ponds. Get a lot of folks out here. At, uh, don't think they have to fish for the fishing license. <laughs> So, all right, YouTube, and uh, there's another one dead in the water, floating upside down. A lot of dead channels. Let's see if I can catch a live one, though. All right, let me get baited up. Thanks. Another one. Okay. Same situation at the river. The blue rod has the secret seven. The hog seeker, the yellow one, has the sudden impact. So same situation like if it was over at the Jordan River. It's a shame on these channel cats dead. I mean, they're, they're pretty good sized channels. It's a shame. All right, well. Let's see if we can catch some fish. I just barely baited up. Both are in the water and it is uh, 8.40. So, we'll see what happens. Alright, thanks YouTube.
All right, YouTube, I got me a nice channel cat off of uh, Sudden Impact. I'm gonna get the hook out of this guy and get him back. I didn't even know I had him until I started, my line just went tight and I just reeled him in. All right, thanks, YouTube. Both lines are back in the water. Uh, two back to back, real fast on the Sudden Impact on the Hog Seeker. And, uh, so far, no, no bites on the Secret 7. Um, but if you watch the Jeff Williams uh, videos on Team Catfish YouTube channel and on their website, he demonstrates that both baits are made of the same product. The only difference is, is one has fiber, the other one doesn't. But, uh, boy, that was fun two back-to-back -back fish right away. I cast in the exact same spot, so let's see if there's another, another guy. I trimmed the barbs down on my, uh, on my treble hook. The very first one I caught, the hook was swallowed and it was really deep. So I just cut, see? There's the sudden impact getting a bite right now. Secret Seven's getting a bite. Secret Seven has a fish on. Missed the one on the sudden impact. Wow. Okay. Two on the sudden impact, one on the secret seven. And they are dandies. Wow. Okay. Gonna get the hook out of them and get them back. Folks, that was fun. Holy crap. And it's only 9.30. I can't remember the exact time when I started fishing here. I think it was 8.40 when I started fishing. Two on the sudden impact, which is on this one, and one on the secret seven, which is on the blue one. That was fun. All right, let's hope we get more. Each one of those had to have been at least one to two pounds. Three on the uh, last one, I think. But a lot of fun. I gotta get me a scale. All right, intermission. Got another one on the the sudden impact. Okay, gotta get him in. All right, here he is. Gotta get the hook out of it, so get him back in the water. All right, thanks, you two. So three on the sudden impact, one on the secret seven. They are on the bite. I apologize for the wind noise. Uh, I wanted to keep it up. You can turn the volume down if you like. But I would like to get these bites caught on tape. So feel free to turn down the volume because of this wind. Okay, 
Okay, missed him. Missed him. I'm gonna probably have to bait up now. So stay tuned. Had one on on the Secret 7. Uh, I didn't even have time to bait up yet from that last fish that I missed. Whew. Okay, so you gotta bait up both of them and get back out there. Fast action, people. Here's a fishing tip for you. If you're fishing a pond and it has a bottom like this and you're reeling this in a lot along with your fish and everything, when you cast out, cast out but leave your, just set your rod down. As soon as it hits the water, set your rod down. Because if you do a casual little reel in like after you cast out, you get snagged on this and the fish have a hard time getting your bait. So there's a fishing tip for fishing for catfish in a pond with uh, a seaweed bottom like this. So, thanks YouTube. I'm gonna be packing it up here soon. Uh, three cats on the sudden impact, one on the Secret 7. I'm gonna reel in the Secret 7 bait right now, refresh it and get back out there. Uh, Sudden impacts on the last cast. I just re we published that bait and it's out in the water and it just barely got out in the water. So I'm going to do the same with the Secret 7 right now. Brought the Secret 7 back out. Uh, sudden impact's been out there for a while. It hasn't had a strike. I just had two nice bites on the Secret 7 and I missed them both. Um, so I would love to close this out with a fish. So I'm going to. Um, Keep on casting in that general area and see if I can hook them. All right, stay tuned. All right, I'm ending this one with a beautiful channel cat on the Secret Seven. Drag him up here so you guys can see him better. These channel cats have just been dark. Oh no. Yeah, this guy is a goner. Alright. Gotta get the hook out of it. Take it easy. Hello YouTube, Robert here. Uh, successful day on the water, I would have to say. Um, let's see, four fish, or wait, three fish off of the sudden impact, and two fish off of uh, the Secret 7. So I would have to say, you know, it, just like Jeff Williams says on his Team Catfish videos on YouTube and on TeamCatfish.com, Secret 7 and Sudden Impact is the exact same bait. It has the same ingredients and everything. The only difference is, is the Sudden Impact has fiber bait in it. Um, and the Sudden Impact, in my opinion, is a lot easier to work with being that you can just use a bare treble hook. It's so much easier. stays on your hook better. I would have to say Sudden Impact is easier to work with. Both are great baits. I want to do a special shout out to Catfish Ray Ray for giving me the idea of doing this uh, bait off. So uh, a shout out to Catfish Ray Ray. I uh, appreciate you checking out my videos and um, for the rest of you, I like if you like, subscribe if you want to. Um, I'm planning on doing some more bait offs as uh, they, they come uh, on requested or if I just decided to do one. So, anyways, YouTube, have a good one. From here at Willow Pond in Murray, catfishing has been really good. Uh, I was a little spooked a little bit when I was uh, seeing all the dead catfish. I was getting kind of worried about that, but um, fishing was really good. Fast action. Can't complain. Um, I also want to also add another note. And I did have two fish on with the Secret 7 but got off in the reel in. So the score could have technically gotten tied on both baits, just so you know. All right, have a good one, YouTube, have a good one.